Hi, welcome on tvjesuschrist.com on the show Rooted in the Bible. I am evangelist uh, Alan Rich and uh, we are doing a, a show, a message that uh, is lasting for a few weeks now uh, concerning the way to be free completely from any bondage, to be set free uh, with Jesus Christ, how to be set free completely uh, with sin, uh, from sin. Please uh, watch uh, the previous uh, program on uh, the archives so that you can understand where we are and where we are leading to. Amen. So last week we stopped. Uh, we, we saw the different points uh, that first for repentance we had to realize you had to realize that you have sinned two you had to regret it three you had to confess it and now we see the point number four we have to turn away from it we have seen in a very important to me uh, verse in Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13 he who covers his sin will not prosper but whoever confesses and forsake them will have mercy so you must not only confess them but forsake them stop doing them turn away from them so this point we can see in Ezekiel Chapter 18, verse 28 to 31. Because he considers and turns away from all the transgressions which he committed, he shall surely live. He shall not die. Amen. Yet the house of Israel says, The way of the Lord is not fair. O house of Israel, is it not my ways which are fair and your ways which are not fair? Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, say the Lord God. Repent and turn from all your transgressions so that iniquity will not be your ruin. Cast away from you all the transgression which you have committed and get yourself a new heart and a new spirit. For why should you die, O house of Israel? So we see that God does not want only you to uh, regret and or to confess, but to turn away from it. You see, it is said, repent and turn from all your transgression so that iniquity will not be your ruin. If you stay in the sin, it will be your ruin. We see this in the new uh, covenant in the book of Colossians, uh, chapter 3, verse 5 to 9. Therefore, put to death your members which are uh, on the earth. The member which are on the earth is the body, yes, and the soul. Fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience, in which you yourself once walked when you lived in them, but now you yourself are to put of all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language, uh, language out of your mouth. Amen. So you must, we must stop, we must change. We cannot just regret and confess and keep on doing things. We must uh, stop doing it. This is the important to turn away from it. And we see a uh, last verse about turning away our transgression in 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 3 <laughs> then Samuel spoke to all the house of Israel saying if you return to the Lord with all your heart then put away the foreign gods and the Ashtoreth from among you 
and prepare your heart for the Lord and serve him only and he will deliver you from the hand of the Philistine this is a very 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 important verse he said if you return to the Lord with all your heart and maybe as I said before your problem is to be shallow and to come superficially to God you have a problem oh God help me it doesn't work okay I'm going to find my answer somewhere else you don't take seriously your spiritual life you don't come to God deeply you don't take time how can you know somebody if you go and see him 10 minutes every month <clears throat> and here it is said if you return to the Lord with all your heart which means that if you return to God with not all your heart how can you be blessed and then put away the foreign gods when we say the foreign gods because it, it was st statues it was small object they were worshipping if you have things like this in your home get, get them away but also if you have those ideas in your mind take them away put them away and prepare your heart to the Lord and serve him only that means if God tell you you can do that you do it if he said don't do that you don't do it but if you're trying all your life you know to play with what God asks you to do and what you want to do or your family asks you to do or your culture what or your job or whatever you, you cannot have all the blessing you have to decide who you're going to serve and serve him at 100% with all your heart amen so then he will deliver you from the hand of the Philistine the Philistine the Philistine were the enemy so what is your enemy under what bondage are you under what situation are you in bondage of whatever you are fighting with it is God who will take them away from you but to take them away from you you must obey him it's not your ways it's the way of God it's not your laws it's the laws of God it's not you by your principles but it's by the principle of God that you are being set free and the fifth and last point of repentance must be if you have respected the fourth point there we must see a changement in your life otherwise it means you you did something wrong you didn't respect huh? if you say in the example of stealing the newspaper of your neighbor you say yeah I did everything you say and then I look at you and you you keep on taking the the newspaper no you, you are lying to yourself you are playing you are fooling with God if you have respected that we see the fruit it means that you stop stealing huh? we see uh, Jesus who said in uh, Matthew chapter 3 verse 8 plus 11 bear fruits worthy of repentance indeed I indeed Ah, sorry it's uh, John the Baptist who said that bear fruits worthy of repentance I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance you see that we're going to see that uh, next week that the real message of the gospel is repentance and I'm there is maybe you you who are watching maybe you didn't heard the gospel of repentance the first time but you you heard the good news of uh, directly freedom or of easy life and you you thinking where is the easy life that I have been preached they told me that I had nothing to do with everything is going to me uh, uh, be given to me but the word of God we're going to see is not like that so the, the changement in your life 
has to be seen. <coughs> we see in uh, the book of Acts, chapter 26, verse 20. Throughout all the region of Judea, etc., it was Paul who said that they should, everybody should repent, turn to God, and do works befitting repentance, uh, worthy of repentance. There must be a changement. And this is the proof, if there is a changement, that you did everything you had to do, you have to do in your repentance. But if you keeping, keep on doing the sin and saying, yeah, I have repented. No, 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 you didn't have repented. Maybe you just have confessed it. Maybe you had just regretted it. Maybe you just have re realized it's bad, but you didn't stop it. You didn't turn away from it. We're going to see, of course, how to be freed of all those bondages and all uh, the sin uh, in uh, our life. So I think we're going to see, uh, uh, now we have time for this, uh, for this week, about the first message, the good news, the gospel uh, in the Bible was repentance. The first thing that John the Baptist have said, he, was, he didn't just say to everybody, hey, come here, yeah, what do you want? Come and I baptize you in the water. Ah, okay. Why? It was symbolic of, it was and called the baptism of repentance. He was preaching the repentance to their sin. We see in Luke chapter 3 verse 3, and uh, John the Baptist huh, uh, went into all the regions around the Jordan preaching a baptism of repent repentance for the remission of sins. Also, Jesus Christ, it was the first word, if you have a Bible where the words of Jesus are in red, you can look, the first uh, red letter that you can see, the first word that Jesus said is repent. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 17, from that time, it was just after the baptism, uh, water baptism, Jesus began to preach and to say, and to say what? Be happy, come and you will have a job, come and you will get rich, come and your problem will be solved. No. He preached, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. Also Luke 15, 7, he said, uh, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 just person who did who need no repentance if you didn't if you think you didn't do anything bad you don't need repentance but if you think you didn't need, do anything bad it means that you st you still don't understand who you are and th also so John the Baptist pre uh, preached the re uh, repentance Jesus preached repentance and the disciples also in Mark chapter 6 verse 12 so the disciples, they went out and preached that people should repent. You see that the, the, the beginning of the good news is repentance. So if you don't go through repentance, you cannot go to the next step. We're going to see that in uh, next week. Amen. Also, the preaching of repentance was pro uh, it, it prophesied. Huh? Uh, we see in, the, in Luke 24, 46. And 47. Thus it is written, and thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and the remission of sin should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. So when Jesus said in Mark uh, chapter 16, verse uh, 15 to 17, Go preach the gospel, the good news. It is uh, here, we can see. It is... Sorry, where am I? Uh, repentance and remission of sin should be preached in His name to all nations. 
the good news, the message, that the, the, the preaching that we have to do to all the world that Jesus asked us to do is the preaching of repentance and of remission of sin. Amen? We're going to see next week the we're going to end up on repentance and to see where repentance lead and we're going to start uh, you going you are going to understand then the mechanism of how to be free of all your bondage and all the spiritual links you may have and to be set free and as I said when Jesus set you free you are really free amen I am evangelist Alan Rich and uh, I'm uh, waiting on you for next week for the next uh, show the next message God bless you bye bye